Right guys, welcome to the channel. Um, hope you're all having a good weekend so far. Um, yeah, I just want to go over a quick word today. Um, Matthew 25 to 30. So yeah, let's just go straight into it. Um, at what well, at that time the father revealed in, the father revealed in the son. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and knows to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are, who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. So yeah, guys, that's that's the word. Um, just go over it. Very brief word today. <laughs> Very brief word, but an important word, I think, nonetheless. Um, Let's just go over it briefly, a brief explanation, okay? Um, right, so, um, that time Jesus said, at that time Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. Um, yeah, I think God often... God often likes putting the wise to shame, I think, by um, the people who are wise in their own eyes kind of thing, because um, only God's wise, do you know what I mean? We can be wise to a point through God's wisdom, but if you're wise in your own eyes, you, you know, it's like that wisdom's only going to get you so far, do you know what I mean? Um... Because, yeah, I mean, it'll only take you so far, sort of thing, wisdom in your own eyes. Um, that's what I believe, kind of thing. Um, because we don't know everything, and God know, God does. And the devil knows a hell of a lot more than we know, so he can easily use that against us, kind of thing, do you know what I mean? Unless you know God or you've got God in your life, a relationship with him, and then then and you read the Bible, then you can then you can gain wisdom and understanding and knowledge, I guess. But if you if you're wise by wise by your own eyes, then how wise are how wise really are you? Do you know what I mean? But yeah, um what what next? Um all things have been committed to me by my father. Uh, no one knows the son except the father, and no one knows the father except the son, and knows to whom the son chooses to reveal him. Yeah, Jesus is, that's why Jesus is Lord and Saviour, do you know what I mean? He's, uh, God's, God's put everything under his feet kind of thing. Um, Just put Jesus, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Do you know what I mean? Without Jesus, you can't you can't come to the Father. If you don't go through Jesus, you can't get to the Father. You can't without Jesus, you can't get to heaven. Do you know what I mean? So it's one of them. So yeah. Um what is it? Um no one knows the Son except the Father. Yeah, we only know Jesus so much. Do you know what I mean? We don't really know him, not like God knows him. And no one knows the Father except the Son. Yeah, no one knows God like Jesus knows him. Because we were there at the beginning of time together. So, before everything was created. So, do you know what I mean? Um, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Yeah, Jesus probably does reveal aspects of God's character to um to believers, do you know what I mean? Or like God's holy people kind of thing. Um 
no doubt that is the case sometimes. Um, but yeah, um, I feel like, I don't know if Jesus has revealed it to me or God revealed it to me, but I can certainly, throughout living my life, I think I've learned a little bit about God, but very, very, very small amount what he's chose to reveal to me like i can kind of read between the lines on some things but at the same time he, he's always one step ahead of me and he knows he knows how to uh, keep me on my toes that's all i say he really knows how to keep me on my toes like um, unbelievably sort of thing uh, i never know what he's gonna do or what he's gonna i i, I never know jeremy you know I it's one of them it's uh it's, he's a mystery to me he, I know certain things, but he's still a very much a mystery to me. That's all I can say, and I think he probably always will be. I think that's that's the nature of God and humanity. If it, if it was all figured out, it'd be too easy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Um, where are we? Um, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Um, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yeah, um, the, the weary and the burdened, um, the people struggling, um, Jesus is saying, come to me. And I'll give you rest, um, take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yeah, um, Jesus is saying it'll, it'll do you good to take, take his yoke upon us and learn from him, because, um, He's gentle and humble in heart, so, and we'll find rest for our souls, so it won't all be uh, toilsome or burdensome or suffering, it'll be, there'll be some good times as well, do you know what I mean, that's what I'm guessing, that's what I'm reading between the lines in what Jesus is saying there, um, we'll find rest for our souls, we definitely do, we might go through things, but there's always a, uh, like I say, whenever, whenever I'm suffering, it always lifts eventually, do you know what I mean? Um, sometimes it can take a hell of a long time um, through my own choices and decisions and stuff and, um, or poor choices and decisions uh, and uh, not, not always listening to God. Um, uh, Or not realizing what 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 God's telling me, sort of thing uh, can be either really. Um, but yeah, um, it all changes. Do you know what I mean? Everything everything always changes. It doesn't stay the same way forever, sort of thing. The seasons in life. So um, you just got to persevere. You got to endure and keep pushing forward and keep moving forward and. You never know what's going to happen in life. God always surprises you. God always likes to keep you on your toes. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you'll never figure out God's plans because God's plans are like, they're not figure outable kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? God figures everything out. But we, God, well, God don't need to figure anything out because he knows it all already kind of thing. But, well, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say so. He's omnipotent, so he knows everything. So yeah, um, but yeah, um, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yeah, his burden's light. His yoke is easy. So there's good times. Do you know what I mean? There's a there is a burden. We do suffer. Sometimes we suffer a lot, but. Overall, yeah, um, I 
overall I'd say in the space of your whole lifetime the burden's probably light you probably have more good times than bad I think that's kind of what it's saying it doesn't always seem like that it really doesn't um it seriously doesn't when you've been when you're suffering and you've been persecuted against and the devil's persecuting you and fallen angels are persecuting you and people are persecuting you and stuff um when you're in the moment of it all it's like it's hell it's hell on earth like it's it doesn't seem like his burden's light then or his yoke is easy then at all but i think in the span of your whole lifetime i think um maybe not for everybody but if you're following god i think the span of your whole lifetime is if you're following god and you've been following him like consistently and doing the right things then um like reading the bible praying fasting when you need to but reading the bible and praying mainly and um and worshiping do you know what i mean if you're doing all them things then and you've been doing them for a while then or if you start doing them and then doing for the rest of your life then from the time you do them to the end of your life, I think, um, then yeah, his yoke, his yoke is easy and his bad and his light. Um, that's what I think. Um, I think that's probably right. Do you know what I mean? Overall, you have more good times than bad, but sometimes before you find God, it can be terrible. Do you know what I mean? It was for me. And, um, yeah, so in a sense, for me, it doesn't seem like his yoke is, doesn't seem like his burden's light and his yoke is easy, but at the same time, um, but at the same time, he always saw me through, do you know what I mean? So I'm not going to moan, it's one of them, he, he, he always saw me through, he always made a way through it all, um. I just had to never give up and keep the faith basically before I knew what faith was. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, um, I'm just saying, um, I think, yeah, I think, I think everyone's life's different. Everyone's got different purposes, different callings and stuff. I think Jesus is bad and his light and his yoke is easy, but it all depends what you're called to do kind of thing and what your purpose is as well. And uh, some people with a bigger purpose are going to be under more scrutiny or they're going to be like persecuted against more and they're going to suffer more. But, but yeah, overall, I'd say for the majority of people... Um, Jesus, his yoke is easy and his burden is light throughout the whole span of your life, like sort of thing, um, or when you've been following him from from then to the span of your life. I think that's probably quite accurate. I think you think, I think the good does outweigh the bad, really, do you know what I mean? But sometimes, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's the word, guys. Um, I hope it helped you in some way. I hope it blessed you in some way um, or um, I hope it made you think in some way but yeah um, that's the word guys so yeah I'll be back with more content soon as always thanks for watching I appreciate all of you guys and uh, yeah we'll be back soon with some more content alright guys take care See you guys. Bye. Much love. Bye.